You see, typically how it goes in this world is the people at the that are at the top, they make the most money, but they don't do the most work. <clears throat> it's usually the people at the bottom that do the most work, but don't make the most money. So, obviously, um, this kind of varies, uh, but like, you know, I do study business and in order to start a business from the ground up, it does take a lot of work, but when a person establishes that business and they build it up, they hire employees to um, take off some of the workload <laughs> to where eventually they don't have to do as much work, right? Now, in the early stages, they did. But later on, they didn't have to do as much work. And that's just what it is, right? But if you're an employee... You're always going to be doing more work than your boss. That's just how it's, how is is how it is. You know, that's how it is. Um, <clears throat> like I already said that uh, that you know a boss making more than an employee. I mean, if he's the one that made the damn company, then I, you know, I guess he deserves more money than an employee because he's the one that, you know, started the foundation to even give you a place to work at. But companies should still provide their workers with a livable wage. So even if that is true, um, he should be making more because he's the one that made the company. Uh, he should still provide his workers with a livable wage and not be super greedy with all the finances. But... At the same time, it's like, you know, you're doing way more work than your boss, <laughs> right? But nobody calls the boss lazy. When the boss is chilling, when the boss is relaxing, when he's going on vacation, no one calls him lazy. But people always want to call you lazy, right? No one calls the boss lazy, right? And yeah, like even people that that do rip that do um real estate, they have property managers and maintenance men to do the work for them, right? Which is which technically it's impossible to do all that work yourself. But yeah, the more <clears throat> your business grows, the more you can start you know, setting aside responsibilities to other people and take off less work off yourself. Uh, when you become a when you become a boss, you do other people to do the work for you, and you don't do as much work. You may do some management. You make sure people are doing their job right. I've had jobs where they was like, oh, you know, from time to time, the big boss will come in here and stuff, and it's like, yeah, I mean. The big boss, from time to time, you know, he may make sure that everybody's doing their job, but essentially he's not really doing most of the work. If you're a regular employee, you're doing most of the work and they're getting most of the money, right? But I just find it kind of ironic that no one calls that man lazy. No one, no one calls him lazy. But people are always quick to call you lazy. Yo, you lazy. Right? <laughs> always quick to call you lazy, man. It's like, dude, if you're working so hard, where's your money at? Do you have money in your bank account? Oh, you don't? Then why? Do, then shut the fuck up then. You working for what? You doing all that hard work for what? You just working hard just to work hard? I don't do that shit, bro. 
I don't just work hard for a company just to work hard, dude. If I ain't getting nothing out of it, there's no point in me doing that shit. But, yeah. Your boss, you're doing way more work, work than your boss and making less money. You're bragging about working hard for another man's company that's not even yours. You're making another man rich. The more harder you work, you're making somebody else's company rich. You ain't going to get no sort of equity from that company. You can't pass it down to your kids. But you talking about how hard you work for another man's shit. I would look so stupid bragging about how hard I work for somebody else's damn company. It's their shit. I get fired any given time. Uh, I can't pass it down to my kids. Nothing. But I'm bro, I, yeah, you know, I'll bust my ass at this company. It's like, you don't own that fucking company, moron. I see if it was yours, you owned it. Okay, good. It's yours. Right? I'll do that shit too for a company that's mine. But you bragging about working hard for a job that don't give a shit about you to fire you at any given time. You look pathetic. So, you know, I necessarily wouldn't call that lazy. It's just working smarter. It's working smarter, not harder. We all heard of that phrase before. Work smarter, not harder. You know, I, I want to work smarter. You see, that's what businessmen do. Businessmen, they work smarter. They, they, they try to find a way where they reap a large benefit with putting in the most minimal effort as possible or not have to do a whole lot of work. You see, no no one calls them lazy. A person who's operating from that standpoint, no one calls them lazy. A person who's working smarter, not harder. All right, let me do let me do this. Let me build this up. Let me get some money from some investors. Do this, this and that. Hire some people to do the work for me. That's working smarter. Right? No one calls them lazy. No one calls no no one calls that man lazy. When you work when when a, when they're working smarter, not harder, they're not working twice as hard as you, but they're making all the money off your ass and exploiting your ass, making billions of dollars off of your ass. No one calls them lazy. <laughs> right? No no one calls them lazy. No one calls them lazy. You know, making hella money off you. No, no one calls them lazy. Right? No one calls them lazy. Right? They're not working two jobs. They're not working 16, 12, 10 hour days. They may make sure, you know, they may make sure people's doing their job, but essentially they're not working as much as everybody else is working, but they're making way more than everyone else. No one calls them lazy. I'm a person that wants to work smarter, not harder, right? Now there are now there is some instances where you're gonna have to work hard, and I get that. But I'm not trying to do what everyone else is doing because what I'm seeing isn't working. What everyone else is doing, I'm seeing people go to work for forty, fifty years and still don't have nothing. So, you know, I I just see that too often. Everyone's working and don't got nothing. I'm like, okay, well this ain't working, right? It's not working. So I'm not finna follow in these footsteps when it's not really benefiting anyone. Right? Nobody calls their boss lazy, even though he's doing less work, making all the money off you. No one calls him lazy. When the boss walks in, no one says, oh yeah, that guy's lazy. No one says that. <laughs> But they quick to call you lazy. <laughs> Stupid. Right? All people want to see you doing is breaking your back. That's all they want to see you doing. Working for someone else. The boss chilling. The boss going on vacation. No one calls him lazy.
When the boss walks into the company, no one says, oh, that guy's lazy. No one says that. But when you want to do what he does, oh, you lazy. Man, that's why I don't, that's that's the reason why, bro, I don't talk to people at all, bro. Even on YouTube, you be watching like um, a lot of these, uh, I don't know, like, like, like it's just people of the older generation, bro. They're going to always call my generation lazy. That's just what they do. Because cause the older generation is stupid. Like, these are the same people that, you know, think that it's still back in their day and it's not back in their day. It's a new generation. The same people that didn't leave behind any generational wealth but want to call somebody lazy. <laughs> it's pathetic, man. Stupid. Oh, you know, I want to, I want to find a way to, I want to find a way to retire early. I want to retire at like 45 instead of 65 so I can enjoy my life a little bit more. Oh, you lazy. I'm lazy. <laughs> Are you stupid? <laughs> I swear, man. You lazy. You a bum. Because I want to live my life? That makes me lazy? Whatever, man. If you want to slave if you want to slave your life away, dude, and give your life to a company that don't give a shit about you, go ahead and do it, man. I'm not doing that shit. If that makes me lazy, so be it. I'll be lazy then. If that makes me a bum, then I'll be a bum, man. Screw it. I'm not going to, you know, these people are retarded. You lazy. Because <laughs> I don't want to give my life to a company. I don't want to work from 18 to 65 for a company. That that makes me lazy. Okay, whatever. I mean, even your boss didn't want to slave his life away. He didn't want to work for a place for 45 years. So he said, man... Let, let me make my own shit. He ain't want to do that shit. Even some of these self-made millionaires, they're like, man, I don't want to do this shit, man. I ain't trying to work for a job. Look at RDC World. I don't know if he's a millionaire or not, but I played a clip in my last video. He said, man, I was not trying to work no damn job. But even but even though he wasn't trying to wage slave, he has way more money than these people that work these so-called jobs. So it's like, people want to do shit the smart way, nigga. You get called lazy for wanting to work smarter, not harder. That's stupid, man. You know, because rich people... Um, there's a clip of P. Diddy. Um, I can't find it, but he says something like, Yeah, I'm lazy. That's why I hire people to do the work for me. Yeah, rich people, they hire people to do the work for them. They don't cut their own grass, clean their own house shop their own groceries they have other people do that shit I'm not saying all of them but a decent amount does no one calls them lazy though but they got more money than everybody no one calls them lazy they quick to call you lazy because rich people they care about their time you know a lot of us poor people we gotta spend more time doing shit that we don't wanna do you know, if you have money, you can just you can buy some of your time back. Well, you technically can't buy time. But what I mean by that is like they pay people to do the work for them, which if they was to do it, it takes time. Right. That, that, that time that they spent cleaning the house, cutting the grass, you know, going to the grocery store, they can just pay someone else to do that shit. And they have more time for themselves. Us poor folk, we don't we don't got that. We gotta do all that shit ourselves. That that's the def that's the difference. <laughs> they care about their time. They value their time. They don't want to spend their time slaving. Rich people understand. They like no. I don't want to work a nine to five slaving. I don't want to do this shit. You know. Gr like Grant Cardone, I don't really look up to him or nothing like that. And I'm not saying this as I'm, you know, as I'm looking up or ass kissing rich people. I'm just saying this is how some of them think. 
Grant Cardone, you know, he said he was a car salesman and he hated it. He, he said he hated that job. He was there for 10 years. He said he hated it. He ain't one working on nine to five. He made his own shit. That's how rich, some of these rich, rich people think. They don't want to work for someone else, slaving. The same shit you doing, they don't want to do that for someone else. The same shit that you're doing, oh, I work two jobs, I'm busting my ass. They don't want to do that shit. They don't want to do that. That's why they made their own shit and got rich off of it. If they want to do the same shit you doing, they just would have just stayed. At, they just would have stayed at a job, right? Rich people don't want to do the same shit you doing. You know, it's, it's outrageous, man. They're like, nah, nigga, I gotta find. Nah, I gotta, you know, find another way to get to the bag. I ain't doing this shit. I don't care if I got to exploit people, brainwash people, enslave a group of people, or even just make my own shit. I ain't saying every rich person is on some corrupt shit. There's people who got rich and they did it and ain't, they ain't even backstabbing. They ain't even do no bullshit. But they like, nah, nigga, I ain't doing this nine to five shit. Fuck this. The same shit you doing, they don't want to do the same. The same shit you're doing, they don't want to do it. That's why they paying your ass to do it. <laughs> Right, which is a low wage, remind you. But no one calls them lazy, though. No one says, "Oh, uh, Bill Gates, you're lazy." Warren Buffett, you're late. No one says that, or even in, or any other you know person that's rich. No one calls them lazy. And these same people, they pass shit to their kids, man. I mean, you shouldn't have kids in this world, but they pass they in money and their inheritance to their kids. To where the kid has a starting point, they have a they have a head start. They have a, a extra leg up. Poor people don't do that. They have kids broke, and then they want to call their kids lazy, <clears throat> or they want to bash their kids because they're not a success. Well, it's like, well, what did you give your kids? Did you give your daughter or son anything to get to that next level? No, or you, or or it's not enough. So, just you need to shut the fuck up. So, please shut the fuck up with that lazy shit. So, I gotta say I'm out.